Hello everyone. The topic for the day is classes in Python. Okay. And firstly, we have to understand why are why are classes important in Python or what is what is what are classes in the first place. Please note, class is a kind of structure. Okay. Let's say if you are working for a company, and in that company there are there are number of employees. Okay. So if you create a class called as employee, so if you create a class called as uh, employee so every employee in the organization can be registered under that particular class okay it's like grouping up okay so please note it is about creating and instantiating classes okay but we have to understand why to use the classes in the first place okay classes basically allow us to logically group our data and functions that is easy that are easy to use okay and also need to be built upon when in need okay Please note in uh, functions, when I say data and functions are associated with specific class, they can be called as attributes and methods too. So when I say functions in Python, it is equal to methods. Oh, sorry, functions in, uh, yeah. So when I say methods, okay, uh, in a class, when I say this is a method, that is a method, it is nothing but equivalent to that of function. And when I say attributes, it is nothing but the data that is associated with that particular functions, okay. For example, let's say you are an uh, if, if in an organization we are representing representing employees. Okay, uh, we are creating a class called as employee. So for each individual employee, we will have specific attributes, right? So for each um, employee, we'll be having a name, a department, a department ID, a salary associated with that particular employee, so on and so forth. We have to understand what is the difference between a class and what is the difference between an instance of a class. Okay. They are two different things. Okay. Now each employee that we create in a class will have an instance of that class. Okay. So let's say if we create a class called as employee. Okay. And we pass in as of now. So when do we when do we pass a pass function? That is basically when you have nothing to define in a class. So you just mention pass. Okay. So as of now I just mentioned pass and I instant I have uh, uh, instantiated using two variables that is employee one and employee two employee one equals to employee and employee two equals to employee this is nothing but this what but what we call as instantiating and why do we instantiate in the first place it's to tell them that this particular variable lies in this particular class okay that is the main agenda of instantiating if we print the employee one and employee two we can see that you know employee one and employee two are acting as instances and they are unique okay why are they unique you can see they are pointing to different memory addresses if you see clearly they are pointing to different memory addresses okay and that is what states that this is unique okay now just a moment Um, I hope you you guys are scripting parallelly. Okay. Uh, so what we have done here, okay, we have created a class called as employee. In that we have passed in a pass function. Okay, which means that when you have nothing to define, you just mention a pass. Yeah, and then we have instant. We have created two variables or two instances, and equated them to equated them to the name of the class. Okay. Which means these two instances are part of these classes of that class. Okay. When I print the employee, what do I get? I get that employees are unique and they are pointing out to different memory addresses. Okay. Let's say each of these instances have unique attributes, have attributes that are unique to them. Okay. For example, these instances, employee one and employee two, they have, a, they have things that are unique to them. For example, employee one has first name, has last name, has email, has salary. And the second employee has first name, has last name, has email, has salary. Okay. And then when you print it, you get to know this thing. Okay. Firstly, what do we get to know? We get to know that they are firstly pointing to different memory addresses. Okay. Please note till here, 
okay we had just defined the instances okay here we are defining the attributes of the instances please note i have said that attributes of the instances are nothing but data of those particular instances okay when we look in the function below okay if you just look at the cell if you even extract the email you get the email yeah so this means that for example for a particular employee you can uh, extract n number of details for example let's say for uh, for employee one i want to you know extract the salary and then if i extract the salary i get that the salary of employee one is a hundred thousand okay but it is impossible to define specific attributes to instance in a class okay and when is that impossible let's say you have thousand employees okay and let's say so you won't end up creating thousand instances of thousand employees and then defining thousand attributes of those thousand employees you won't do that it's it's a very it's a very tough job right for example if you have four attributes per employee and if you have thousand employees will you sit and actually code out four thousand instances or four thousand attributes obviously not right and that is when init method comes in okay that is when init method comes in or some people call it dunder method okay now inside the class employee we have a special init method okay so when you create a function or a method like class okay inside a class they receive the instance as the first argument automatically by convention we should call that instance self okay after self we can con we can mention that other other arguments or what do we want to specify or accept okay now within the init method we can set all the instance variable using self dot for self dot last so on and so forth okay so please note that as i have said when you create a function or a method inside the class they receive the instance as the first argument automatically okay so for example if we if if you can see it right here we have created a class called as employee in that we have created a function using init method okay or uh, the dunder method in that we have passed in self first last and salary okay you can see if we write for self we have to like uh, put in self dot first equals to first self dot last equals to last self dot salary equals to salary and self dot email equals to first plus dot plus last plus at the rate plus x y z dot com okay this is for example you know when when you have 1000 employees and all those 1000 employees run through this particular function they will have all the details stored in the class employee because of dunder method and that is what dunder method does in the first place okay now we have once we have defined it the instances are passed automatically we can just pass the, pass them using the instances below okay we have created two instances employee 1 and employee 2 and in the employee class we pass in three uh, attributes we pass in uh, chirantan loankar and 100000 which is nothing but first last and salary and we do the same for the employee 2 and when we print employee1.email employee2.email when i print it this is what i get okay and we can do the similar thing for you know you can mention n number of employees and it will take it again okay because when we run this employee one is just employee one is passed in the self okay in the init method and then it goes to self dot first okay please note this instance will first travel to self then it will be travel to first last and salary okay hence we delete the manual assignments that we did in the last block okay now if you want to perform some kind of actions we can add some methods to our class yeah say the ability to display the full name okay let's say we want to pass in a function which displays the full name okay for that we can create a method inside the class instead of calling it every time manually okay we are not going to call full name every single time okay so what do we do we take the function first function as it is okay where we pass in first name last name email and salary okay 
then we define a method for full name note that every method inside the class automatically takes the instance as first argument every method inside the class automatically takes the instance as the first argument okay and hence we have put self here okay we define full name okay we take self argument and then we re we return self dot first comma self dot last so is nothing but first name comma last name okay now once we have defined it if the instances are passed automatically we can just pass those in the instances below okay now what does this mean okay when it comes to second function uh, when we have just given a full name and we have just passed in self argument and not anything okay it means that this function is a part of this function or a part of this class and every method which is there inside the class automatically takes the instance as the first argument okay so let's say we create an employee one and we pass in some details okay when we run this the employee is passed in self init method and then goes to falana dimkana okay employee two is again this thing okay then when i print email one and email two and when i print full name please note i'm calling full name here if you see i'm calling full name why because it's a function yeah we need parentheses because this is a method and not an attribute okay and then when i print employee one dot full name i get the full name okay which is nothing but chirantan loan card okay if you see it right here yeah we get that okay we can also run the method using class name that is employee okay which is nothing but employee dot full name and employee name but please note whenever we were uh, for example whenever we were uh, <coughs> running it as instance name dot function name we had nothing to pass in yeah we just called the function <coughs> but when you are using function class name and the function name you have to pass the instance as well okay so in these are both the types in which you can print the full name okay but we have to pass instance as an argument okay then we have something called as class variables and what are class variables okay please note instance variables are used for data that is unique to each instance they are set using the self argument okay instance variables are unique like name salary department etc class variables are variables that are shared among the class that are shared among all the classes of instances okay class variables are the variables that are shared among all the classes all the instances of the classes and class variables should be same for each instance okay <clears throat> let us say annual bonus as a variable can increase or decrease every year but it will stay same for all the employees okay instance variables are the one set up using self argument let's say we create one more function okay we define a class variable called as apply raise okay what are we doing we are just raising the salaries or we just getting giving an annual raise of 4% okay i use the self uh, argument or uh, method here and then i put in self dot salary is equal to i am converting in self dot salary into integer and i am giving a raise of is 1.04 one point multiplied by 1.04 is nothing but the raise of 4% okay when i print the salary of the employee and when i print and when i run the function called as apply raise okay you can see it right here that 1 lakh salary has been in, now increased to 1 lakh 4 because here we had actually mentioned that we have to increment it by 4% if we go on to see later now we can define not sorry now we can also define 4% amount in the variable we can just define that inside the class inside the class variable now here we had defined 4% or multiplied that by 4% yeah what we can do is that you know every single time we have an employee why to multiply that by 4% else we can just define a variable called as raise amount which is equal to 1.04 and then we can just multiply that by self dot raise amount okay so when we access the class variables we need to access through the class itself or instance or you can also do employee dot raise
you can see it right here we have done the same thing in this case the only different thing that we have done is instead of 1.4 giving here we have we have defined a variable called as raise amount and then we have done self dot raise amount okay all right so that was it for the first part of uh, classes in python okay tomorrow we'll be covering second part of classes in python thank you so much